What's going down, YouTubes? Uh, everyone's here. It's excited. Chaos in my ISP is like, oh my gosh, there's fire everywhere! He's, he's somehow melting the copper and it's turning into natural fiber. We don't know how he is. He's like the internet messiah. I one day will be the internet messiah, I promise. I will be like Elon, what he wants to do with the internet that he did with cars. Yeah. I'll figure out a way. I just need to get like really rich and famous first, and then I'm gonna change this world. Right now, I'm just really poor and ambitious. Some may perspectively look at, I guess, in that turning spectrum of the 99 versus the one. <laughs> That's right. But I'm down to try, as everyone uh, says. You know, we all have dreams, we all have ambitions. So why not? And in this lovely portion of Red Dead, as it loads in, make it a little cool. All right, everyone, give me one second. We're almost there. Okay, posted. Nice. It doesn't seem like it. No, it just, it just very much received it. Like, actually, switch scenes. But that, that means the very front. I see now what it needs to happen. Uh, but with that being said, here we are in our overlay. Okay. Cool. He sent out. No, it's already too late. Let's push forward. His Arthur doesn't didn't like waiting. He's got to shave. And chickens. Study the chicken. Arthur needs to study more. First things first. He just needs to keep eating. And he. Oh man, I really do want to play with Mike. I haven't played with him in quite some time. But like, I really want to really. Like, once I get that beta thing going. It's hella cool with him. Need to beat this storyline. That's hella tempting. Oh, and I need to change the camera. Holy shit, holy crud. Um. You know, I don't, I don't mind chilling in this, this spectrum. I just need to make sure it's not like super crazy. I think that works. Actually, yeah, Facebook's balanced already. Oh. Yeah, all came to nothing, Miss Grimshaw. That's for the best. Oh man, Arthur, why are you gonna be like that? I never did like her very much. How you feeling? No, Arthur, you should, lady approaches you. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure. How are you? Fine. I should spend more time in the camp. Hey, do you think? Do you worry? Do you worry that maybe we've lost our way? How do you mean? Ignore that. I won't pretend ignorance. I know just what you mean. But I don't know. Jesus, Lenny. Things seem bad. The world is changing, and I'm not making much sense. Am I? <laughs> no. But what somehow, the hell was you singing last summarized night? how I feel. It seems awful. Right there? And then nope. it seems the same as always. And then it, it seems like there's just no other way. And I, I just. Listen, we got out of worse situations than this. I know, right? We've done plenty of bad things that we've all forgotten about. I think that Don't take Dutch's patter about redemption too seriously. Now it seems like I'm part of one cast. Well, now I'm part of the Bruce. Like every other creature on this rock. <laughs> but unlike them, we'll go down fighting. Apparently, like, this is not the most, like, appealing of angles at this point. <laughs> I don't know. But I can't do this and rechange myself. Hey, Jamie. Apart from wishing I wasn't gonna find out sooner than I'd like. Seems like everyone's getting really salty. I don't do too much thinking, Jose. Killing for my thing. I don't believe that for a second. Good for you. 
Oh, I love how he waited till I sat up to actually intertwine the storyline. Like it was scripted that way. It knew. Every dude's faster. Morning, dude. <clears throat> Morning. Lanny. You might be the youngest, but some of the others could learn a thing or two from you. I don't know about that. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Okay, Arthur. So we're working on a plan for that train you told me about. All right, now, Mary Beth. I was wondering about that. It sounded worth a look. For sure. You did good. Hey, Ed. How you doing? And Chris? Yeah. Facebook side. I'm sad for him. What's up? All right. Well, I should be getting on. All right, I'll go. Hey, so that feller who was hashing you for Valentine. I'll tell you another time, okay? All right. Okay, sure. Guess I can go talk to the other guy. Let me see his all. Joyard in a camel's arse. Morning. Having a rest there, are you? And boy, have I earned it. Well, don't get too comfortable. Sure. This is just awkward. <laughs> this is worse than him and John. I swear. Like, him and John are hilarious. Like, I, I love that banter. It's just like, okay, they hate each other. This is great. What time did I go to sleep? My lady. Grimshaw keeping off your back? I wish. Well, just keep your head down. All right, then. <laughs> Dude, I'm finding this... Oh, Rev. We're stuck in the ship now. Oh, no, no, no. All right now. We're drowning in Mike, what's going down on Facebook side? For a man of the cloth, you have quite a way with words. Words are the very least of my problems. I was hoping you'd be like this. I'm sure. Hey, hey. Come on, Reverend. Tell me about the almighty bottle. And how you found holiness in it. And by holiness, I mean the endless portion that you ran out. I'm not trying to make any parody points. I don't want to be hit by lightning or have these weird ass comments. So I'm just gonna take my snake oil. Call it a day. I love how the game orchestrated exactly what I was gonna say. I was going to literally say that, and that was the weirdest thing in the way. There, there is just something about playing certain games where I'm just like, you know what? Sometimes I really do believe you should put tape on your cameras, crap like that. <laughs> no, Rev, I'm just gonna let you be. You seem to be enjoying that, like what we said. I can go. Say what's up to our buddy right here. What's up, Pearson? Hello. Walk away, Pearson. Be so happy to go cut up meat. And two years later, the game realizes that there needs to be a screen. Well, Pearson, if you know, I wouldn't have to narrate shit if you didn't happen to, you know, just be like lazy shit. Damn, dude. Anyways, I just noticed a, a, a flaw with this being right here. Or I guess I can chill. Um, damn it. I like that. Be right here? That makes sense. I don't know. Works on. I'll worry about that later. I'll test it out on YouTube. I'll look something like points. I just need to donate. Donate it all. I don't need it. Dead meat. Hopefully this will help a bit. Can't have that pot go completely empty. Just in time, Mr. Morgan. Good job, Mr. Morgan. I like to think I fed the camp. I need to hunt more for them now. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Hey, Dutch. Chipper. Well, where there's life, there's hope, my friend. Uncle. Yeah. We've been 
thinking about our problem all wrong. All wrong. That's all. Meaning? All in good time, my friend. All in good time. <laughs> Always the show, man. Dave Pearson, if you can't take two turnips from the pig's foot and turn it into something delicious. I think he's just like, I'm reading. I can respect that. I feel terrible. Be glad Dutch didn't send you back to Blackwater with Charles and Javier. I heard it got bloody down there. Damn, yeah, okay. It worked out, I guess. You know what? For the menu purpose, it doesn't really matter. Let's be real here. I I'm not gonna lose sleep. We're not, like, getting captioned over a freaking cap. I, I, you know, I, I, if I live to regret those words, I live to regret those words. Besides being in a weird ass angle real fast. Well, maybe one day you'll save my or my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Laughing with you, Red Red? Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. Really? Go on, do tell. You stole this from Who one did? of those awful men. You should have it. Sure. Thank you, but you were blind drunk. I was drunk, but I never forget my manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I'm gonna do what you should have did from the damn start. And just donate to the damn camp. Where is Ledger? Right around here. Hi. And uh, Mike, if you're still there, how are you doing, man? I've been doing pretty good. This lovely portion. I should give him all the items. Yeah. I need this. I can't donate them all. I just want to donate them all. Make it rain, or this would be hail. No, 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 it'd be meteorites because it's rare materials. That's right. Make a meteor shower. <sighs> cool, it is. Alright, can I give you anything else? You know what? Actually, I think I need to keep my supplies. Hey, Adam, how you doing, buddy? I am waiting too for the Days Gone patch to come through, too. I know they do their weekly updates, and there should be the next one coming in sometime. So I'm hoping I can catch it before I go to bed. Oh, Strauss. Mr. Strauss. How was it looking around Blackwater? Yeah, I need to learn more of my art, brush up more. My, my brother knows German. I talk, yeah. Un Strauss. That sounds German, right? Un. Ja. Nein, maybe. I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, now. Need to see. Fair than steppers. Because I think I've talked to everyone. I think I can push on forward past. Nothing. That's for Rev. I think I really talked to her. Talked to her. Passing. Everything okay, Miss Grimshaw? Yes. Finally about done cleaning up after that party. Sean does not do things by half. Alright, no. I think that's perfect. I've talked to pretty much everyone. Throus. Oh, I haven't talked to her, I don't think. Just hey, Sadie. wanted to say... I'm sorry about your husband. Your home. He was one of the hundred of you thieves and murderers. I have no doubt. Damn, I never really got this other side of Sadie. All right, Arthur. And I really felt bad for her. Sadie's such a badass girl, dude, man. Like, they really made her a really good character in the story. Yeah, I hope so. You know, ah, there he is. England's finest. <laughs> John, I will punch you. I am. 
America's finest, David. Generous than I care to count, but he was right with you. I didn't see it at first, but I was very wrong. Gonna challenge him to dominoes. Where's that Marston? Oh, there, <laughs> well, there is his wife and his son. <laughs> yeah, well, this works. Oh, maybe not. That's look like Jack. Well, Molly, you're screaming like her, like Abigail. I'm guessing I had some fun last night. So you had fun partying with Sean again? Well, not as much fun as Karen did. <laughs> Hi, Karen. I don't think she thought that when she sobered Mary up. Mary Beth. Yeah, let's just walk away from that one. Doing a good job there. A good job. You know. Yeah. Nah, much more Already wishing we'd left Sean hanging from my tree. I'm you do oh, that. I know what you can mean. Can some constructive criticism? No, you certainly can't. All right, we're good enough. I think I've done my part. Saying hi to the camp. And I think, that, like, honestly, I had some character developments that I'd never seen before. Like, that whole portion with Sadie. Like, she is super salty about us. I never saw that coming. Like, I just saw the other side when, like, later on they introduced her in, like, more of a prominent characteristical point. I was just, like, trucking off doing so much more, like, exploring. So that was actually really cool. Okay, here. I guess I'll try it, like, my luck with that later on. Right now, I think we need to... Oh, that's what that lazy, good-for-something Marston's up to. should let him preparate so you don't screw that one up. Right now, we're trucking right back in to go bail out that no-good-for-nothing. But along the way, we're going to pay the $85 bounty, because I really don't want to deal with bounty. Let me go back to that county. That's mainly why I want to go there. I, <laughs> Horse, would you chill out? Oh my gosh, my horse is 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 it's sorry. It's not normally like this. It's just having some technical difficulties. No, oh, dude. Yeah, I don't think uncles. What? Um, horse. I, this was like the total Harold and Kumar moment. Is this your bush moment? I kind of feel like the horse just like comes out. It's like, is this your uh, is your hay? Uncle's like, uh, hey. Yeah, good boy. Okay, this is weird. He's narrating my script here. How you doing, dude? How's life been, Mike? We're doing like a lot of cool stuff. I didn't like got your invites. I haven't been able to like kind of get into that commitment yet. Um, I've been working on like trying to polish this game off and then uh, balance a few new ones as I always do with variety but it's always good to come back to this and I really want to beat the like the storyline I'm having good luck with like have being like a good character in this and really pushing forward hopefully life's been good with you man like everyone's wondering I'm talking about bloody crimes on YouTube on you know, the chat board also, pretty cool guy I met throughout uh, Facebook. Quite a few rounds of uh, Red Dead Online with. That was the uh, the invite. Right? If anyone noticed in the very beginning of the episode. Oh, I forgot! I have autopilot on this. I can actually sit here and like tend to like a lot of things all at once. Oh my God! Go like that! Why is it gotta go like this? Go horse, go, go Coco. Not now. Uh, I can't afford to lose you. Seriously, I can't afford a really horse, but good horse. Damn it! I think I had the revival juice though. What was that? What was that all about? 
I just went to check my damn phone because I got an update that someone commented on a video and like apparently I can't look at Ryan or game right now without all hell breaking loose. What the hell was that? I need to save my horse. Oh my gosh, Coco. We're all spread out like a damn milkshake on a damn yard. Damn right. My horse is better than yours. Be I carry revival right. juice. Let's go, go. Yeah, I definitely agree. Like, the second playthrough is hell of a lot better. Oh, damn it, Arthur, you're getting all bloody trigger happy. Um, I would love to collect all their, like, lovely shit, but this is too close to a town, and I need to get the hell out of here. I don't know what the hell happened, and that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Make my see? I know, right, partner? I'm getting the hell out of here. Look at that. <laughs> like that, our crimes was not reported. We just bounced. That was the best part of life right there. Bouncing. Okay, so I need to find a place to pay this off. That's not gonna cost me my, my arm and a leg. Right here. Bam. Post office. First stop. Well, let's go. Yep. That's a great way to put it, Arthur. See if we can just get there and not, like, get dead along the way. Very possible. We get shot. I don't know. Our life expectancy is pretty good. I think we haven't died too much. <sighs> and as the story goes, Arthur always tries to sit there and ride the horse going, like, what happened? John messed up a lot. I'm trying to remember exactly what I was trying to do prior to that. I had a thought, I was preconceived, that I have no longer retained. Huh. It was good too, like, it'll come to me though. I'm trying to multitask. Empty your pockets now. Oh, easy, friend. We ain't got no fear with you momentarily. <laughs> Did I accidentally like try to rob him? Um, yeah, I like to pay my bounty. Nothing like a fresh start. I guess that's a way to go out like a boss at the end of bounty. You try to rob someone, and then you go pay your bounty off. Like, oh no, 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 take. No take. Coco, I know. Hold on, girl. Hold on. Hold on. Damn. You know, you, you, you're a guy, but you know, like, seems soothing to say that. It's a like colloquial. Okay, take it then. I don't want your damn money. What the? You kidding me? I don't want that shit. <laughs> Look. You leave something behind? Oh yeah, someone else's dignity. I'm wondering if someone else is gonna be a dick. Minute. See if we get a bounty. <laughs> this might very well happen. We'll see live like stock trade of bounties, and this is how fast the Wild West works. I don't think it is, but I mean, that guy really did leave his money. Thanks, partner. I mean, like, let's go see what it is. Well, hey there, partner. Same fine word, right? Sure is good. Uh, hey there, partner. Let me drop. He ain't drop jack shit. I go prima down on throw down. Then I can steal his carriage though. And it's all bad karma from there on out. Alright, 
since we're now out, and apparently some dude just decided to sprinkle on his stupid ass car. Now. I need to get myself into a good mapping point. Now, I already feel like I'm walking myself into danger. Good job. Down to a whole bottle of Kentucky Burby. Let's just screw it. As well. Stogie. Baked beans. Oh, baked beans. Dinner for later. That other squirrel's mighty. I ran it over once. Like, nope. This is be the Western game of Red Dead Redemption. Act like you haven't seen nothing before. That jackrabbit almost got itself completely just killed. You know, almost be game dinner. That piercing slapping ball. Eventually I'll make it worse. Right now I'm gonna go harass my girl. me, Micah. My knees are still good. It's okay. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. Oh, a plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen <laughs> trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that yeah. way. Well, I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> Come on. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. Come on, boy. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you. I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Yeah, details, bro. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. 
Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He does have a very good compelling point on that argument. On the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Driscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here anyway? Yeah. Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, uh. drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Exactly. Nothing that needs to concern you. Oh, everything that needs to concern me, Micah. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's yeah. too late. Like that move you pulled at Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you cut full undone more than once now, and you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Yes, we're robbing it. Then let's do it. Hmm. I don't trust this, ladies and gentlemen. No, I don't trust Mike at all. These camera shots are beautiful. They really are. All right, this is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. It should be. That's a really beautiful ridge. In a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah. All right. I'll let you handle this one, Mike. Sit back. Don't make an ass of yourself. Great. Unfortunately, unavoidable. Hey, PB Gamer, how you doing, man? Uh, no, second playthrough, actually. Uh, when this catches up to you, it's in 4K, so it takes a second for me to actually get to the response points. Let me take out the horses real fast. Hey, you can show them, Mike. It's time for me to take a little drink. Have a nice little cigarette. Wash it down. I don't know nothing about these cores you gotta keep up on. Oh, we crashed off the. Really? I didn't know we could do that. That was kind of cool.
I feel like that was some like uh, Marty McFly shit right there. Well, no, Micah, you see what you cause, you know good for nothing. That worked, right? I'll just shoot, Arthur. Thank you, buddy. You and me. No, I'm with you, and that's the point why I want to keep it covered, Mike. I'll give it to them. They put up half um, the no, I very much finished the game. This is the second playthrough. I'm doing like my good Come ending. On, I did the other one where I was just a cowboy and just destroyed everything. So, cool. The second playthrough, honestly, I, I like it a lot more. A lot funner. Like, you start noticing little things between like the the characters you didn't pick up on the first time, so it's like very entertaining. Why do you refer to such the weirdest things? You just thing? break it open here, be done with it. Could be more than we can carry, and there might be a second. I can't get used to this. I just can't. I mean, I'll just, I'll, I guess I'll steer into oblivion. I can always invert it, but then it'll look freaking weird. It just trips me out, like in my overlays when I'm looking. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Trust this new act of yours one bit. Yeah, it's decent to try that. On the wrong foot. But I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done. Same as you. Gets things I know done. that you're a feller that gets us in trouble. That gets some things done. That has us that bells you out. That gets things done. I love this camera angle. Makes everything look hella sweet. Oh my goodness, you have to ruin my damn camera angle! Well, this ain't good. Tell me you'd be okay. You just cover me now. You
good. We just got ourselves a wagon we can paint red. Bring it. Be my huckleberry, I tell you that much. Red Dead Redemption 2 is like a, such an amazing game. I think Rockstar did well. Saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Hey, give me a hand with yeah, I'm just trying to like do my thing and like I, I guess experiencing and trying to do the good deeds and seeing like what ending I get and then if I like fail and like uh, just go down the chart like what, what is needed. But it's like, I did like the total rebel thing in the first playthrough, that's why I loved it. Oh, uh, Mike is bitching. Hold on, Mike. Like, there's so much more I can find here. What about yourself, uh, PV Gamer? Um, I'm assuming you've played the game. What ending did you go for? Oh, wait, I think I can get something here. Should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors on account of, well, this little mess. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. Money looks so funny back in what the day. What here is good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Oh, damn it, what the hell? Horse, what are you doing? Coco, we gotta catch up. She made that easy. I feel like I'm always drawn into these moments. Let's get out of this death. Let's go up here. Arthur, just take it away. 
Go on, Arthur. Do your thing. I was trying to say good morning to him too, but I guess that didn't happen. Look how peaceful this seems like. It's got the nice architecture of everything in the background. You can change it up, get a little zoomed in, go into nature. I don't know where he's going now, it seems very off short. Man, I honed into that, I was like, something's different. There he is. Gotta examine the berries. Hello again. Hello. Oh, hello. We didn't just startle him at all. Uh, oh, sweet this morning. I'm sorry, my. This guy's Later. interesting though. I actually like his missions. Outdoor adventurer. He's always getting himself into hellish this shenanigans. Country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. Oh, I. Hope not. So what you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe. Given the wind. Yeah, sure. You managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. <laughs> me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. Okay, so what are we doing? Dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through luck. Cracking the herb. Piled under. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great. Man. Don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh. There's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Down, please. They've given no calls. Now, Good boys, hungry boys. Come on, stay back, stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Magnificent creatures, especially when clawing. It. Balls. Come on. Oh, my beauties. Oh, the modern technology, yes.
and tell your alpha. I'll be back. We might have kept the wolves from the door. Come on. Snap out of it. You're safe. No, no, no. My whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, Come on, they can it. be pretty aggressive. What a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? <laughs> well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? I know, right? I know. You have saved my poor foolish We can go through a whole bunch of wolves in the water and just see what happens. Well, I think that might be a good science experiment. My debt of gratitude. What happens no, I am eternally when we fill a dead. normal lake with wolves? You take care now. And you too, sir. Oh my gosh, I was about to sneeze, but that would have been... That's, that's some funny shit right there. I was just checking this equipment if only my hands weren't shaking quite so much. First I was scared of the wolves, and now it's hydrophobia. I've got hydrophobia phobia. Huh. So wildlife photographer needs steadier nerves. Or a longer tube for this Hunterbold. Much, much longer tube and a cave to hide in with bars on the outside. I need me some time working on the mechanism. Good day to you, sir, and Godspeed. You're a collector of pelts. Hmm. I hope only in cases of self defense. Ask some weird questions there, sir. Yep, yep. Don't worry about me. Lightning doesn't strike in the same place, and neither do wolves. <laughs> Actually, wolves would totally strike in the same place, you idiot. They'll be attracted by the smell of the meat. I don't think they'll eat their own kind though. I'm pretty sure they would smell like meat. Be drawn to it. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one up. This will be Din Din. Oh, whoa, okay, I knew I was hungry. Pray for that. Yes, deliciousness. Eat. Shout out, Martha. Shout out. I feel like I'm really rusty tonight on the controls for Red Dead Redemption. Hey Oscar, how you doing man? I'm doing pretty good when this catches up to you man. I need to maybe cook another piece. And then on YouTube side, if you're wondering, I also stream on Facebook. That's where my low latency comes into play, which is really nice. People can talk to me a little bit more of a faster succession than used to lay. Alright, man. Oh, cool. Someone new joined the network, too. Welcome to the M7 community. I'm not out of my case right now. 
go ahead and make it. like this provisional plan. Yeah. I was wondering if there's anything. I think this is just chapter two right now. Very early. I'm doing like trolling the land and taking care of a little bit of here and there. Doing the good thing, seeing what I missed in the first playthrough. Go ahead and use this item. Tear down the camp. Gotta do the right thing. Yep. Alright. Let's go, boy. Nah. Where oh where are we gonna go from here? Oh right. Is John's mission. But there also is Hosea. Oh John John, aren't you supposed to be doing something else? Damn it, John. Can't count on nothing. Alright, now we're gonna go back and we'll make the lazy John Marston restart again. Yeah. Bro, you can't trust that boy with anything. I, I almost want to. I keep feeling like I'm gonna sneeze, but I can't. Like, that's why I'm like dabbing. I'm like, ah! I don't wanna sneeze! Cause I know how loud that sounds in playback. It's crazy. My bad. Also, checking my phone too for any random notifications. I try to multiply. Time people usually become religious at that point in time. It's like, hey, I almost didn't die. For the blood. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I was uh, done for you. Saved me. Thank you. <laughs> Take something from my back for the trouble, though. I'm. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a. Take a minute now. <sighs> my leg feels like it's. Like it's on fire. Partner, you need a ride to town? I think we should offer him, Arthur. It's the right thing to do. And, and the thing, I almost didn't bring the trap. <laughs> I hear any of that. Dead now, if not for you. I'm just gonna let that be. Angry Crow. That would be cool to see in like Red Dead Redemption. Like a whole bunch of crows just messing stuff up. Block of them. Destroy stuff. 
I don't watch that. A murder of crows, Red Dead Redemption. I don't like the sound of that. Just a few deer, it's fine. What the? Whoa, easy. That was weird, right? What the? It's. I. I had to reference the playback. It it looked alive, and then it died. What the hell is going on? This is some David Blaine shit. I'm freak. Man. I didn't do that. New Hold on, partner. Hold on. You can't Help. I can kill you. Why do you gotta be shitting me? Come on. Okay, come on. I didn't do that. In God's name, help! Give me no choice, mister. I'm no blabbermouth. Help! Really? We have blabbermouth when we go tell the people? I didn't mean nothing. Help me for pity's sake! Oh, Lord! Oh, come on now. Come on, horse. Okay, boy. Enjoy the peace. Be quiet. I'm not hundred percent sure if that's gonna work. Uh, oh well. Can't have two crimes. This is gonna be close. I need to talk to him away from the crime scene. Alright. Let's see here, officer.
Hey, Steven. I'm trying not to be a robber right now. I'm just trying to be a normal dude. So besides a ten dollar bounty, it's nothing. Whoa. We're almost there. Too far off from John. She just got to go to the camp. Who are you? Just me. Good to see you back, Arthur. Oh, I probably need to go upgrade. Nice. We have tonics and the cool things we can get from now. Duchess will live like a king. Hey, Dutch. Oh, it's 
Good to have Micah back again, huh? I ain't so sure about that. I guess that's the end of that conversation. Yeah, that, that went up real fast. Distinguished. It's like, yep. Yep. John. Yep. Let's go do something really fun. Good morning, Arthur. Hey. You never got us that oil wagon, did you? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I clean forgot. Well, don't worry. It's taken care of. Otherwise, we'd miss that train. Oh, what? I didn't know you didn't have to do that mission. If you just went off and did other things, John would follow through with the mission. Okay, John, you're not as lazy as I thought you were. You made us hit the wagon when you can. There's an old burnout shack up near the border north place called Dewberry. I ain't gonna do that one either. I'm gonna do something else. See if John takes care of that. Shit. I didn't know. The only thing to do to make John Smarson do work is just not do work. Holy shit. You just reverse the scale. I might as well go see what Abigail wants. Oh, right. She wants me to go raise John's son. Sorry, I, I wanted them to hang him. <laughs> Boy, he amuses me. You done good, Arthur. Loyalty. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sounds good, Mr. Morgan. Poor Jack, you have no clue what's ahead of you. Soon, yeah. Okay. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid because he likes you and well you know his father's useless that's right okay thank you what did i learn walk away from this and john will do everything damn it we don't have that option do we fine I've done this mission, it's really fun, but I also think this is a progression mission because there's some major shit that happens in this cut. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cake. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Damn, Arthur. You made me excited to go fishing. Lift you on when you're ready. Hey, Steve, what's going down, bro? Still there, man? Alright. Let's go then. So, where are we going? To 
us down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. Her and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Yeah, you'll understand in about 18 years the pain of what that happens with that. <laughs> yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Oh, okay, so right, you need to get him a book. I go to Blackwater and get him a book. Ride fast, Uncle Arthur! <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Faster, Uncle Arthur! That poor horse is like, you have no clue, I haven't eaten in about five seconds. Why is that horse tripping? Alright, this looks as good as I'm going. That was weird, that is so weird, like... Come on, follow me. I can't wait to get started. But first, we need some bait. Some cheese. Cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. This is a great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. Well, there should be. There's a the fish there. Fish on the line. Come here, little fishy. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Like what? Okay. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I like the look of that spot. Fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear them out first before you try to reel them in. Yep. This one's a rock bass. 
You got a stick at things, Jack. I know. Hey, you are going to end up like your father. I know. Born as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just... Sit, wait. Try not to worry. It's good for you. Good for you? Yeah, actually, it really is. Yes. Huh. Well, let's try again. What are you making there? You'll see. It's a surprise. I think he's got a bike. Look. Whoop! Think I got one. Seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in. Got him. Nice and steady. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. This guy's come out of nowhere, don't you? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case, orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. It's nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. It's five thousand dollars for your head alone. We don't say. Thousand dollars? That is a lot of money, actually. Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. Nope. How so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned yeah. nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not playing the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it. From Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die savagely. All of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> uh, if that was me, I would have been. If you're gonna point a gun at a man, you better be damn well willing to pull the Don't damn trigger. Worry about no one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. I don't like it here anymore. Dutchess. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men. And Very I don't true. want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I'm not. 
No, I don't uh, think so. Think so either. I hope he's just fine where he is. I am. Like I said, don't worry about them. Exactly. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Yep. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. So did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. It is. Arthur, are you gonna get down or like, do I have to go to the spot for it to trigger? I think I have to go to the spot to trigger, yeah. There you are! How are you boys getting on? Great! We caught a fish and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? Well... I say we do nothing. Mm -hmm. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. Three. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Cool. It doesn't seem like I did really good on that shit. Could have did better. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream. Let's see if we can go raid someone on Facebook. It might be more popular on Red Dead Redemption. Yes, there is. So let's go ahead and raid this person. side Here. I'm gonna go ahead and maybe gear up for the sinking city I just depends on what time I have to go into tomorrow if something super late then I might just go into that but if not I might just like roll into it towards another situation uh, but uh, cheers everyone for um, staying tuned on this episode hopefully everyone had a pretty fun time for as far as the situation and what's going down uh, I'm gonna go ahead and log and I'll see you guys and gals in the near future I'm gonna pause, save. If not, I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna be like. I'm gonna go about like this. Go. All right, everyone. Have a fun one. And then if you, oh, I need to think of my subscription humor. It happens at the end of every episode now. It's actually pretty funny. Um, I'm usually pretty good at that, coming up with the fly and stuff. Oh, yes. Oh, if you subscribe to me, I, I'll turn into Mickey Mouse. There you go. I, I say that lightly because I don't know if that's going to be a copyright thing where all of a sudden like I go, oh, screw you, Disney. And then they just like say, no, that's not cool. You can't do that. You can't mess with the mouse. But yeah, maybe I'll turn into Mickey Mouse and I won't get a really weird lawsuit. Anyways, everyone, you have a nice night and I'll see you all in the future.